Now then, lad, you've been telling tall tales again. Do you know what kind of house weighs the least? I'll tell you. A lighthouse. Alright everybody, Jordy Paul back here for a new video, well, a collaboration video nonetheless. Uh, this time it's a review and the review is going to be of the 2019-20, depending on Covid outbreak, uh, Robert Eggers film The Lighthouse starring Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. Uh, Robert Eggers comes straight off the back of his uh, first directorial debut of The Witch and goes from old New Englandish with English people coming over to America uh, to the late 1890s with a lighthouse keeper and a wiki or someone who kind of looks after the lighthouse with Willem Dafoe playing the main lighthouse keeper and Robert Patterson being his second in command or the kind of like dog's body of it. Uh, the film itself uh, starts off with them being, uh, it goes, starts off them being put on the island to take over for their shift and it is slow and steady spiring into madness for Robert Pattinson's character as well as William Dafoe's and it's a black and white film and it's on for an hour and 50 odd minutes I think it is uh, so yeah so that's the overall basic synopsis of it what did I think well the way it looked is beautiful it's captured so well the cinematography in it is amazing Robert Eggers knows how to capture it. He knows exactly what he wants to see and what he wants to show. The character performances by Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson, very, very good. Uh, possibly a career defining one for Robert Pattinson. Um, what else is good about it? Uh, from my point of view, looking at it, it's very much filmed in a kind of 1930s, 40s feel. So you could even say the way it's done, the angles that, that Robert Eggers uses is very much of the early 1920s, 1930s, black and white silent era. Uh, and you can see that he's trying to encapture that with a smaller TV uh, ratio. So what did I think of it? As a roll through review, uh, one of the main bugbears I have would be over Robert Pattinson's accent, as well as his tash. It reminded me very much of the Martin Scorsese uh, Gangs of New York. Uh, with regard to Daniel D. Lewis's character, Bill the Butcher, and his accent was seemed to be very, very similar. And I kept thinking of that when I was watching it. Um, I know, obviously, The Witch is the predecessor to this, and I've watched The Witch, and I did not like The Witch. I watched it with all the build-up to it, thinking it was going to be good. I couldn't get over the old English language. I just didn't like it. So looking into this, I didn't have high, high hopes. I would probably like The Lighthouse. And at the end of the day, I didn't. I thought the film was too long. I thought it was slow in areas. Uh, the ending is very confusing. It's very kind of myth mythological with regards to the uh, character of Prometheus uh, and things like that, but I don't want to spoil it. But I just didn't like it. I know it's got rave reviews and I know there's a lot of people on YouTube think it's really, really good and think it's a great horror. Um, but I just think if the film was as good as it looked storyline wise it would be fantastic but I just didn't like it it's not something I'm going to buy uh, probably not something I'm going to watch again um, I was to be honest with all the reviews I was a bit disappointed with it all and that's just being honest I know I'm probably going to be the only one in this collaboration video who's probably going to dislike it but we're reaching out to their own I'm not the kind of person who must go oh bad boys that kind of thing and action and you know I like s slow burners I like quick and pacey action thrillers and things like that. But for me, The Witch, as well as this one, they're just not my cup of tea. I mean, if he's going to do another one, oh, then that's fair enough. Uh, we'll look into that one when it comes out. But no, I just can't see it. I just I just don't like it. Uh, so yeah, so that's my review. So what's the royalty rating going to be this time? Well, I thought long and hard about this one. Uh, obviously, the last review I did was ICU, which I gave about an 8.75, I think, out of 10. This one not as good I just didn't like it I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 and that's being generous um, I could have given it a 4 but I thought 5 was about the right one so yeah so overall royalty rating of The Lighthouse is 5 out of 10
So there you go. That's my review of The Lighthouse. Uh, I hope you liked it. Probably didn't because I didn't like it. And a lot of people do like it. And obviously because I don't, it's going to be controversial. But there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're watching all my other videos on my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget the thumbs up. But because of my review, I'm guessing I'm going to get a lot of this. Uh, but that's fine. You're entitled to everything. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon.